What's going on guys? Welcome to another unboxing. I know it's been quite a while actually since I've done an unboxing. I do apologize for that. Um, I have just been basically, I haven't really had anything that I really wanted to do an unboxing of, but um, I have had this uh, this on pre-order for a while. Uh, this is ReZero starting uh, Life in Another World. Uh, I saw this, like I think it was a couple of years ago. I think so, yeah. I think it was airing in 2016. 2016 um really good show it just it's a shame that it took so long for it to because it felt like it took a really long time for this to actually get like a, a physical release in the states and it also took a while for it to get an english dub uh there's like a lot of shows uh especially shows that are like coming out now that are just getting you know uh physical releases and, and dubs like pretty quick uh with some exceptions and this is like one that I just don't know, like it kind of sat for a while and just recently actually got a, uh, a release. And I was actually expecting uh, Sentai, uh, Sentai Filmworks uh, to uh, release this because I don't know. I feel like I don't know why. I, I don't know if I read somewhere they had, but I, I don't I guess Funimation had the rights to it. So I was kind of surprised to hear that Funimation was actually handling this. Um, so as you can expect in typical Funimation fashion, uh, we have a limited edition set for the first part of the series. Now, I don't know what they're going to do with the second part. Um, they might do what they did with uh, uh, Berserk, or the uh, the Berserk releases, which is like they'll have a limited edition set for the first one, but not for the second, which is a little bit odd, but they might do it that way, and I'm, I'm, I'm expecting they're going to basically not have one for the second part, so basically they're just going to use this to maybe, like, so maybe they're going to use this to, like, house the second part of the show, um, I'm not really sure what they're gonna do, but obviously as you can see this is the front and I like how it has like this like reflective surface or like uh, You know like when you when you hold it up to the light it kind of like has this uh, really cool like um, You know has all these colors reflected. Uh, that's pretty nice uh, as you can see on the front We got Rem, Amelia and Subaru uh, Nice cover. I just personally I kind of wish there was a little bit more going on in the box art because I don't know, like, uh, I'm not trying to nitpick, but it just feels like there's just not a lot to it. You see the front, and you know, you got the Subaru, Amelia, and Rem. You see the side, and it's just ReZero with, uh, you know, reflective, uh, the, the uh, reflective surface and all that. There's not really much going on, on the side. And here, I hate when they do this, but they don't have anything to like, uh, hold this on, onto the box. Uh, you have the other, uh, character, um, other the other characters that I got, um, Ram, uh, Beatrice, and um, uh, Felt. I actually forgot her name for a minute, uh, but it's kind of cool how they have like the main characters on the front, and, like the supporting characters on the back. Well, technically, um, uh, Rem is more like a supporting character. I don't know. Uh, well, actually, no. I would say Rem is more like a main character, considering she gets like a pretty good amount of development. Uh, Ram, not so much, at least not in the first season. Um, I have been reading the light novels and everything. I, I got real into this show. This is a really good show. So, you you know, like, my hype level for this was just off the charts. I'm like, I'm, I'm definitely pre-ordering uh, this. But on the back, uh, we have this thing that fell off the back. This is basically the uh, uh, description or synopsis for the show with certain, you know, images of it. I've heard the dub, or I heard the dub for... Um, I watched the dub trailer for this, and it sounded pretty good. Like, uh, it had some voice actors I wasn't too familiar with. Uh, I think a lot of them probably played, like, supporting voice roles and like, other shows. They never really, like, played roles for, like, main characters. I know the guy that played, uh, um, uh, supporting character in, uh, Persona 5, I think it was Mishima. Uh, he's, uh, the main, the voice for the main character in this. His name is, uh, Sean Chiplock. I liked what I heard of him. I think he's a really good fit for Subaru. I, I like the other characters' voices, so I think it's pretty good so far. Um, some of the stuff with that this comes with is pretty interesting, but I just it's it's mostly just like kind of the stuff I've come from like, to expect from Funimation in terms of just the uh, the general box set and some of the things that come with it. I guess if that makes any sense. Um, it's okay. So this is pretty cool. I like how there's like some. Amelia art on here, um, but like, yeah, I, I guess it's just because like I've actually been looking at unboxings for some like of the 
Well, actually, I've also seen like what the Japanese import uh, limited edition set for sets for ReZero look like, and they look really good. Uh, so by comparison, this is just not ugly, but not definitely not up to par. Um, but I don't know. Maybe that's just me being really picky. But any anyway. Uh, so we got Amelia, art for Amelia on the front of this. This is basically like an extras box. They've been kind of doing this with the, some of the collector sets lately. Uh, it's ReZero. And then we got the maids on the back. Pretty cool. Um, I guess I should go through this first because this is m pretty much everything this comes with. Um, I think if I... I already, obviously, I already know what this comes with. So... Um, okay, so this... I know you can't see it. This is actually a pillowcase. Let's see if I can get this open. All right, so yeah, it, it does come with something pretty interesting. It comes with a, holy shit. Pillowcase of best girl. Uh, best girl. We got Rem right here. And oh no, we have worst girl on the other side of the pillowcase is ReZero. Uh, ReZero pillowcase. Um, we got we got Ram on one side, and we got we got Amelia on the other. I actually like Amelia. I don't mind her as a character. I think that she basically kind of got shafted in the first season. Uh, let me see if I can't put that as a like backdrop or something. Can I do that? Uh, Amelia doesn't really get a lot of development in the first season. Uh, she, in the second half of the first season, she's very much pushed to the side. And Rem, because Subaru and Rem are together for, like, pretty much all the second half, uh, Rem is the one get, that gets the most development, and Amelia is just basically sidelined because she's not, she's basically, you know, she's not there. Um... In the first half, she does get, you know, some slight development because there there's more with her character in there, but second half, she just, she basically just gets really fucking side, pushed to the side, so I, I, honestly, I guess my whole position on this, this waifu wars, like, you know, how people were up really upset with uh, uh, Subaru being in, in love with Amelia and all that, not with Rem, um... I, I guess I'm a little bit neutral because, like I said, Amelia just doesn't get a lot of development and I think she has potential. I think there's like a lot of mystery about her. I don't know how it is in the light novels. Um, I'm about to start on volume seven, so I can't say for sure. Uh, but yeah, I do really like Rem. Rem is a really great character. Uh, at first, you really don't like her just because of what happens with her. I won't spoil things, but... Uh, she does actually get really, like, way better, um, during the second half, but anyways. Um, yeah, that's, uh, is there anything else? Actually, there might be something else in here that I just completely, completely neglected. Um, oh, there is. Uh, we have, we have an art book, but this, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I think, I feel like I'm being picky again because it's not, it's not really like a hardcover art book. It's just like, you know, paperback, uh, paper, little paperback art book. Eh, whatever. Um, I think I paid like sixty dollars for this, so I mean it could be worse. But anyways, uh, we got a art book, and I'm not going to go through everything. Like I've decided that I'm basically um, just going to. I think that's like the cover for the Japanese Blu-ray or one of the limited edition Japanese Blu-rays. Not going to go through everything here. Um, okay, so we got character bios. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it's not just like a straight up art book where it just shows like just various different arts it's, it's kind of like uh art you know or it has character bios so well, a, a lot of art books actually do have character bios so that's not anything new i guess um but obviously i'm not going to read it or anything i'm just going to kind of flip through it a little bit whoops um but yep we got the major characters it had subaru Amelia. um i think they just showed yeah i think that was puck <clears throat> uh rem Probably Ram is going to be next. Ram. And then I guess we're probably going to have some of the supporting cast. Like, uh, Beatrice. Uh, Felt. But yeah, there's um, there's so many things I like about this show. And, and mainly it's just that it's it's a very subversive type of show. Like it's It kind of takes the whole... Um, I think it's called the isekai genre. Like this whole idea of... Uh, 
character being transported to, into a fantasy world, and it's, I, I guess, I wouldn't say it's like, um, it's it's very counter to things like uh, Sword Art Online, I guess. Uh, you know, where Sword Art Online, you've got a character in a fantasy world, and he is incredibly overpowered, and he's, all the women love him, and he doesn't have to try, and it I, that's what I hated about that show, like, I really could not get into it. Uh, this show is basically like if if you didn't like that you you will love the show because the character in this is the direct opposite he is he is uh, very much underpowered like he the, he um, basically gets his ass kicked uh, but his only you know saving grace I guess is that he has the ability to redo everything and uh, go back to the point you know to basically I get essentially like a, a checkpoint. Uh, to like go back to a certain checkpoint and like redo what he did wrong the first time, or however many times he uh, he and you know pretty much died. It's it, it takes elements of stuff like Edge of Tomorrow, and it's it's very similar to uh, to that in that you know he he dies so many times. The thing with Edge of Tomorrow is the character died so many times, and he ended up you know becoming kind of like really professional at, at uh, what he did. Here it's. It's kind of like that. Like he he does adapt to the situations and learns how to overcome them, uh, but he's still weak. Like he's still very weak, and he has to basically, you know, try to f get help from other people more though than like relying on himself. And I think that's a very unique thing about it. And there's also like a lot of mystery to, you know, the world he he is in and like what's going on and all all this stuff. It's it's really it's pretty intriguing stuff. Uh, but these are just like sketches of the character. That's pretty cool. It's like almost like a storyboard type of thing. Maybe not really. I think these are just like initial sketches, maybe. Uh, but they do look very good. And here we got like, I think I don't know if this is like art from the light novel. I I'm not sure. I think this is just. Yeah, I think this just might be various different um, illustrations. And this might have been like art that came with maybe the original Japanese. Yeah, I think some of these are from the original, like, Japanese uh, Blu-ray releases uh, from the limited edition sets. That's pretty cool how these are included in here. Um, but yeah, I do really like this, even though it's not, you know, a fancy hardcover art book or anything like that. Um, here we have some other sketches of the various different characters, uh, Wilhelm, Priscilla, um, we got Beetlejuice. That's a little bit misleading because I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think Beetlejuice is going to be showing up. Uh, is he, he's, uh, he's not really going to be showing up just yet. So, um, we got Beatrice, uh, Subaru playing with children. Subaru is actually, like, yeah, I, um, I don't know what that is. I wish I could read that. Um, yeah, Subaru does not come off as, I, I mean, even, even in the beginning, he kind of is somewhat of a likable character. He can be a bit, a bit obnoxious at, at times, um, but... I think he, Subaru does, he probably gets the most character development, actually. Like, he, he gets some pretty damn good character development, so. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more so just talking about the show within the box uh, box set itself. Um, here, I actually really like this. This is some of my favorite um, art, actually. I kind of wish it was something like this on the outside, you know? Um, I think this is a little bit more interesting, because there's just more going on in this picture than just, eh, this character's not, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too picky again. Um, but here we got ReZero, the uh, the Blu-ray set itself, uh, season one, part one. Uh, again, typical Funimation fashion. We're gonna release it in parts, whatever. Um, it, it at least is not like. I mean, while the Japanese Blu-ray limited edition sets are nice, at least they don't. You know, Funimation. You know, of course, this is in the states, so they're not doing the whole thing like they do in Japan, where it's like, oh, we're gonna release like. <sighs> again, I'm just, I'm just you know, exaggerating, like, seven volumes or whatever of the, uh, of limited edition sets for the show, because it's, like, 20, 22 episodes, 24 episodes, um, but anyways, this is the Blu-ray set, or the, um, Blu-ray itself, ReZero, Starting Life in a Different World, Season 1, Part 1, uh, Spine, the backside, I think it's the same as this one, no, it's a little bit different, uh, it has Subaru in a different, doing a different pose, and then it's got different images on the back, so that's pretty cool. At least it's not exactly the same. Whoops. Uh, you might have heard my Discord going off in the background. That that, that wasn't yours, it was mine. Okay, so, I'm gonna look inside. Obviously, there's not really anything too special. We got the Blu-ray discs. Um, I think those are sketches on the, on the inside. That's pretty interesting. It looks like a storyboard, almost. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, we got... Disc one. 
We're just two DVDs, obviously. I like how they all have different arts, different art on them. Um, oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this has a reversible cover. Uh, not that I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty cool. Um, well, that's the same thing from the front of this box, even though Subaru is with a different character there. As with Rem, so uh, uh, that's that's pretty uh, pretty interesting. Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, well, one thing I actually forgot to do is to look at the art cards, which come in this plain ass white box. <laughs> uh, or what? No, no, no. That's that's right. They weren't art cards. Um, they were bookmarks. About this, this is another like kind of interesting thing that uh, came with this. It actually comes with bookmarks. Uh, so these aren't art cards; these are bookmarks. Uh, got ReZero bookmarks: Emilia, Subaru, Rem, Felt, Ram, and these these oh whoops, these are all like chibi characters. <laughs> and uh, Beatrice, pretty pretty cool actually. Uh, I like that that you know it comes with something. A little bit different in that regard too. Um, so a bit of an addendum to what I was saying earlier. Um, I actually had to re-record because I, I had forgotten that I, uh, you know, this did come with something else. It, it comes with these bookmarks. So I guess if you need a bookmark, you got like, fuck, how many there are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Like six bookmarks. So that's pretty hand. Uh, that's pretty neat. I mean, I do. I do read quite a bit sometimes, so that could be useful if I'm like reading multiple books or mangu or whatever. I think I could always use the bookmarks. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I still don't think it really changes my overall opinion of this being fairly average. Uh, the bookmarks are an interesting addition, but uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know what they, I feel like. Like, maybe, like, you know, and I said this in some other unboxings, like, the soundtrack would have been nice. I think it would have been pretty cool if they had included that. Um, it does have a fairly decent soundtrack, so that would have been interesting. Um, but, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative, and obviously, until next time or the next unboxing, I'll see you all later.